the coloring marker set will never be complete if it does not have the best skin tone markers. Even if you usually only draw landscapes or mandalas, there will always be times when you will need good skin tone shades to complete the look of certain pieces. One thing to note, though, is that many different brands out there claim that they have the most accurate flesh tone markers, without usually providing enough evidence to support their claims. In addition, many factors can come into play when choosing skin tone markers, and coloring markers, in general. Fortunately, this article is now around. It will guide you in spotting the right skin tone markers that you can use for your artwork. There are many products available to choose from, each with different characteristics, benefits, and prices. To help you make an informed decision, I did extensive research, read tons of reviews of customers, and compiled a list of the best skin tone markers from reputable brands. After much research, I found these products much helpful for people like you. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check my description. So without any further delay let's jump into the video. Number 1. Kapi Chow Skin Tone Markers. This product is a 12 marker set, which contains 10 skin tone markers of varying tones and shades. It does not matter what skin tone you need. You will discover that all colors are already in this set. You can even blend colors to get the exact match that you are looking for. The thing that I like the most about these markers is that they can last a very long time. If you take good care of them, they can potentially last a lifetime. When the nibs get considerably worn down, you can replace them with fresh new ones. Also, when the markers run out of ink, you can refill them with copic inks. Speaking of the ink in these skin tone markers copic brand, the only thing that I have an issue with is that the pens have rather small capacities. A couple of the markers in the set I bought already dried up after a week and a half of use. Number 2. Artify Alcohol Brush Markers. You can never have too many skin tone markers. In fact, it is better if you do. You will be saving a lot of time since you will not be blending colors that much. I like this kit because it gives me a separate collection just for skin tones that are the trickiest colors to get right. Having 22 color choices makes coloring a lot easier. Another nice thing about this set of markers is that there is a colorless blender included, and it is a very effective one to boot. I usually buy a separate blender pen, but I find the included one more than enough. Aside from the blending marker, the set also includes a black marker for outlines and other details. There is not much I can complain about of these markers. However, I notice that they do bleed a bit through the paper. Still, they do not bleed quite as much as the other brands like the skin tone markers Crayola. I just place a loose sheet of paper underneath the paper I am coloring. Number 3 Huhu Skin Tone Markers this 36-piece coloring marker set comes with all of the skin tones and shades that you will need, and a couple more that you did not know you needed. Having these many options in skin tone colors can help you get the right shades, without having to spend a lot of time blending several different colors to get the one you are looking for. These Ahuhu skin tone markers also have double tips, one end is a medium chisel tip, and the other is a fine bullet point tip. I usually use the chisel point nibs for architectural drawings, and to color in the wider spaces, and the bullet point nib for the smaller spaces. Number 4. Chameleon Art Skin Tones Pens. Using these color tops almost seems like you are cheating because they make blending colors effortless. You just need to put the caps on the markers that you want the colors to blend with. With these accessories, you will not need a blending marker to make color transitions smooth and effortless. I am also delighted that these tops come in 4 skin tones, 4 nudes and a brown one. For most artists, these 5 shades are more than enough to recreate any kind of skin tone they need. With a bit of practice, you can use them to create almost lifelike portraits, and any other kind of drawing that will need flesh tones. Now, as mentioned numerous times already, these are just the color tops. You will need to get the markers separately. There have been a lot of people who feel like they have been bamboozled into buying the wrong product, which would not have happened if they took the time to read the label. Number 5. A touch of skin tone markers. You can never have enough skin tones, and having 30 of them will make coloring faces and bodies a whole lot easier, and with very minimal guesswork. I love using these markers because they significantly cut down the time spent blending different colors to get the right shade. Another nice thing that I loved about these markers is that they did not only take the time to print the color codes on the caps. Atasha even printed the names of the colors on them, promoting ease in identification and organization. Now, my issue with these markers is that they tend to bleed and I mean a lot. If you like using sketch pads, I highly suggest placing a loose sheet underneath the page you are coloring, so that the ink will not bleed onto the next page. However, in defense of the brand, their markers do not bleed nearly as much as skin tone markers Michaels. That's all from my end, I make helpful video daily so do subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification. To get more information, or if you want to know product price please do check my description. For any kind of problem please comment below, so I can help you further. Life is short so enjoy every bit of your life with our cool products as it going to make your life much easier. Thanks for watching have a great day.